Hello everybody, this is HD Shaves here. I'm back from the video. Hope this finds you well and in good spirits. So hopefully you can see from the title and the picture for this video that we've got an exciting one for you today. I'm gonna to be giving you some first impressions on a couple pieces of hardware I kindly on loan uh, from a supporter of this channel. So thank you very much, Ben, if you're watching. Um, let's start with the brush. This is a Declaration Grooming B15 Knot. Um, this is the Jeffington style handle, and the pour is called Artisan's Choice. So previously, um, well, this is the first Jeffington I'm getting to try, which is to say that the top part of the handle is like the Washington, and the bottom part is like a Jefferson. Um, I think it's a comfortable shape, and um, I'm glad that this is available to people now. I think it's been out for maybe three or four batches, something like that. And uh, usually for these artisan choice pours, not always, but you, sometimes um, there's sort of a combination of previous pours that Scott had done for brushes and then he sort of mixes them together. And this one reminds me of something, but I'm not quite sure what it is. So um, if you know what decoration pour this reminds you of, you can um, let me know. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um, get this brush soaking in some warm water. Um, I've used this brush once um, this week and um, I had a good first impression of it so this will be my sort of second impressions. Um, now then, let's talk about the Titanium Blackland Blackbird. So I'm late to the party on this, but of course better late than never. Um, I've thought that the um, Blackbird is one of the most uh, handsome uh, safety razors out there and I owned a stainless steel version about two years ago and I really wanted and tried to make that razor work for me and I just couldn't quite get it to work. Uh, it was just a little bit too aggressive but um, here's the titanium version and I just really think that it's a stunning razor and some people have felt like the titanium version was a little bit more forgiving than the stainless or brass versions of the razor and so this is going to be my first um, attempt of this razor to see um, how you know, it goes for me. So this is the machined finish of the razor and you can definitely see some kind of machining marks on the pieces of the razor here. Um, here's the bottom. I don't, I'm not super opinionated when it comes to modern razor finishes or even um, older ones. I'm the kind of person where if something is too shiny, I'm actually gonna be less inclined to use it because I don't want to um, mess it up. So let's go ahead and load a blade in here. I thought I would just show you all the parts individually. And for the blade, we're going to be using a brand new Paul Silver Super Iridium blade. I'm slowly but surely um, working through my stock of these blades. I have, uh, I don't know, a couple hundred that I stocked up on. Um, maybe around the end of 2019, and I figure, well, why not? Let's try to uh, work through these, right? No, no sense in uh, hoarding something that uh, you would probably enjoy using more. So here we go, let's twist down the handle. I really like the design of these razors where the top part of the um, handle goes into the base plate, so it's got a little recessed area in the plate um, where it can take that part. And so this is what it looks like um, when the blade is installed. To me, it looks like there's not, I don't know, this is just a, kind of a guess, but I would guess that there's not much ex, um, exposure, but the gap looks pretty substantial. Just making sure I have that all the way tightened, I do. Um, but yeah, I don't see much of the blade sticking out this way, but I do see a gap, like in the vertical sense. So that's just my guess. Finally, we still have the Lather Games going on on the uh, Wet Shaving subreddit. And today's Desert Island Day, use something that you know you take with you onto the Desert Island. And I thought I would do a shave with Sea Spice Lime by Spearhead uh, Shaving Company. Uh, this is just a fantastic scent, and I'm glad that it's summer again and I can start using it. Um, it's just a beautiful lime, not too basic, not too complex kind of deal. Um, and Sean Mayer did a beautiful job crafting the scent for Dennis and the people at Spearhead. So let's go ahead and start loading the soap. We're going to shake out the water from our B15 here. And here's what it looks like when the brush is shaken out. So a little clumpy, but I, this isn't like the most 
jelly decoration knot I've used or anything. Um, it, from my first impressions, it sort of is like, it's got pretty good backbone, good density, of course. This is the 28 uh, millimeter knot, um, if you didn't know. And um, again, it's not like the softest knot I've used by any means, but it's not scrubby or scritchy or anything like that. Um, it's just kind of a comfortable knot. And I think it's gonna be really nice on two days growth. Um, I don't think it's something I maybe wanna use every single day, but um, it will certainly be nice with the amount of growth we have um, going on. Um, so again, I just wanna thank the person that sent me the Blackbird and also this beautiful brush to try. Um, my new thing now is I just tried to borrow the new decoration batches. Um, I'm pretty happy with the decoration brushes that I have in my sort of collection. And so I'm usually not too inclined to go ahead and pick up something new, but again, I'm thankful to all the people who uh, continue to offer to send me, um, you know, those new batches so I can try them out. Okay, we've got the brush loaded up here. Let's get some more water on the face. And we'll get into the um, face lather right here. This uh, soap is at least a year old now, and it's still very strong. I would say this is, I don't know, 7 or 8 out of 10 in terms of the scent strength, um, which maybe that has something to do with the fact that it's lime scent, you know, and lime is a pretty... Um, noticeable scent on its own, you know, so perhaps that has something to do with it, but this is, uh, this is just a really, um, awesome scent, and if you haven't tried it yet, I definitely recommend it. Um, since I bought this tub, Dennis came out with the Sea Ice Lime as sort of a limited, uh, issue in those mugs, which is basically the same soap, but with some synthetic coolant in it, and I think that fits the vibe of this scent. And, you know, the summer season very well, of course. Um, and also goes back to the vintage sort of uh, vibe of the brand and recreating some of the old Seaforth scents. So um, I just think it's great how well Spearhead has been doing um, because I do remember when they were first starting off and trying all those experimental soap-based batches and... Um, I think most of us knew that he had a good soap base going. The question was just going to be, how is he going to make the sense happen? And hiring someone like Sean Mayer, uh, probably a good choice for most of us. So, um, yeah, I'm just really happy for Spearhead and all that they've accomplished over the past couple of years. Uh, I'm going to keep doing my face lather and bringing my camera up to start my first pass with the Blackbird Titanium. All right, we're back and happy with this first pass result. Um, I've never had an issue with the spearhead base and um, yeah, I think it's just great. So we've got the Blackbird warmed up and let's go in with the first pass here. My initial impressions are that I'm applying little pressure, certainly less than I normally do, and this thing is just mowing through the hair. On Blackland's site, they have a aggression rating for most of their razors. And in my experience, so maybe this will be helpful if you find that our razor preferences are similar, whatever number they list is like, you know, five out of 10, seven out of 10. I always have to add a couple to it um, to make it, you know, closer to how the razor really feels to me. So, 
So I'm just taking it very light. And so far, it's doing okay. Um, something that um, Michael Friedberg pointed out to me, I think it was when I was using this razor, um, but the stainless version. You know, there's a difference between really enjoying a razor and feeling like it's super comfortable and then just being able to kind of tolerate a razor, um, if I'm remembering what he said correctly. And so despite my best efforts with the stainless version of this razor, I kind of only felt like I could tolerate it. Um, But that's just the nature of this, you know, you're not going to love everything you use, and that's okay. There are a lot of awesome razors out there. Okay, first pass complete. No big issues yet. I'll rinse and come back in for pass number two in just a moment. Pass number two. Here's our second pass across the grain, mostly. Perhaps some of you saw. On social media, but we had a lovely last weekend. In the Bay Area, um, every time I've gone to that part of the country, I've had just. A wonderful time. And um, even though we were just there Friday to Sunday, I took the red-eye flight back um, late Sunday night. Felt like we really were able to get quite a bit done. Um, we were there for a wedding in Fremont, which is um, East Bay, just south of Oakland. Um, but we also made our way to San Francisco South San Francisco, to be specific. Um, also, the island of Alameda, I think that's how you say it. Also, to Oakland, of course, Berkeley. And it's just uh, incredible out there. You know, just a really beautiful part of the country. And I understand. Uh, why it costs so much to live there. It's definitely gone a little bit crazy. In recent years, but if I had to live in a really expensive part of the US, that would be an easy choice for me over a place like New York. a lot of natural beauty. And things like that. So let's feel around after the second pass. It feels very smooth, kind of going down and across, but there's still a little bit to catch going against. So it's not like this is the most efficient razor ever that you can, you know, get super close without thinking about. It. So I'm going to do a third pass and see if we can get rid of this. I'm pretty confident that we'll be able to. So stay tuned. And here's the third pass with Sea Spice Lime. All right, here's the third pass. And let's just try doing against on as much of my face as I can. Say it feels relatively smooth, actually. I 
but not, you know, it's not any less comfortable than the usual passes. So I guess that's good. Yeah, I'm gonna say it feels better than I expected, honestly. Um, there is still a little bit of kind of a buzzy feeling to this razor as it's cutting. But again, with how close of a shave, I think we'll be getting, you also don't want You don't want the razor to be so comfortable that you easily cause damage to yourself or overshave, anything like that. Like you want it to be proportionally aggressive, hopefully. The, um, the sound of this razor cutting is, um, it's a little bit more kind of um, hollow, maybe deep, compared to other safety razors. But it almost reminds me of the way uh, the way a hollow straight razor sounds. Okay, let's seal around. Going for the usual spots. And I must say, not surprisingly, that was a very close shave. Um, I think what I'm gonna do this week is use this razor on single day's growth a couple times, see if I can make it work for me, because with two days growth, I can make a lot of razors work, but um, this, the, at least with the stainless version, this razor, the issue before was just shaving every day with it. So I'll be trying it more um, this week and let my friend know kind of what I think. Um, so anyway, let's rinse and I'll come back and talk to you over post shave in just a second. I must say that my skin feels surprisingly good after using this um, soap and razor. Um, but let's go ahead and use some House of Mammoth Sonder Splash. Definitely my go-to warm weather splash at the moment. Um, I think it pairs with a lot of citrus scents and also sandalwood scents pretty well. So that's, you know, it's a pretty versatile um, scent in that way. This is the Mammoth Magic Splash, alcohol-based, and it's got some synthetic coolant in it as well. Whew. Which I just learned from a friend um, that, you know, the chemical, let's see if it's written here. Um, yeah, the uh, synthetic cooling chemical that they use often is called WS23. And he told us this week that the WS stands for Wilkinson Sword. Um, they, some conglomerate sort of company, bought out Wilkinson Sword back in the day and used that synthetic cooling properties to put in cigarettes. Here's what you have the menthol cigarettes and then also I guess they had synthetic coolant ones and I was shocked to learn that it has to do with Wilkinson Sword. So there's a fun little bit of uh, shaving trivia for you. Right, so really nice shave overall. Um, absolutely no issues. And again, we use the Sonder Splash. Can't wait to get a decant of that fragrance. We used Spearhead C4 C Spice line. You got to try this if you haven't yet. Um, get your sample. Uh, it's definitely worth your time and money. Um, and finally, uh, well, the B15 Artisan's Choice from Declaration Grooming. Yeah, soft knot, um, good amount of backbone, but not like the jelliest one I've ever used. It's kind of in the middle, I would say, in terms of softness. Uh, but that's not to say that it's average. Like, it's just. 
it's good. Let's put it that way. And then finally, the Blackbird uh, Titanium Razor. Um, again, I absolutely love the look of this razor. It served me pretty well today on two days growth. I'll be trying it more this week to see if I can handle it every day. So thank you all so much if you made it this far. Um, I'm excited to say that there will be some different content uh, coming out um, in the next uh, few weeks involving me, and I'll be sure to plug that uh, when the time is right. Um, but uh, anyway, if you made it this far, really appreciate it. This has been HD Shaves. Take care, and we'll see you again next time. Goodbye.